The government welcomes the return of Ms. Hassan Naon to active politics after her recent family bereavement. However, it says the statement is simply a collection of sound bites and insults laced together with entirely incorrect positions on the economy and public debt. Number six claims there are no cuts in the GHA, with only the cost of COVID being removed. On other accusations, it rejects that the government or the civil service should be presenting anything other than a full picture of the public debt, saying it's an insult to the civil service and to all the professionals in it. It also states Gibraltar has been able to secure the support of the UK with a sovereign loan as a result of its close relationship, adding it's demonstrably untrue for Mr Sanon to say we would not be able to borrow otherwise, claiming she knew that borrowing had been agreed before the UK provided the sovereign guarantee. The government says it's foolish, wrong and an unprecedented failure of analysis and understanding for Ms. Hassan Naon to say we were already on the verge of collapse. That, it says, is simply untrue and scaremongering of the most obvious and unnecessary. Such a statement, it says, would be dangerous in itself and would cause Gibraltar huge reputational damage coming from an elected member of parliament if Ms. Hassan Naon enjoyed the slightest credibility in economic matters, which, it claims, she obviously does not. In fact, the Gibraltar economy, it says, is resilient and strong, adding this is a testament to the incredible work of its entrepreneurs. The government adds the statements by Marlene Hassan Naon about alleged privatisations are also demonstrated to be untrue false scaremongering by the reality that the government is actually renationalizing Aquajib. Ms. Hassan Naon's errors, it concludes, could not be more self-evident than in this obvious respect.